we can close this selenium then we can start the framework tomorrow onwards okay first let me show you uh, this auto it tool so auto it tool is a third party tool it's not related to selenium at all it's designed by so different programming language basis okay so that is used to handle the windows uh, related uh, so actions so you want to do actions on the windows then so this auto it tool will help us so i'll show you that uh, how we can do so those auto it uh, tool uh, uses let me open this first and uh, so it is in the c program files x86 right so we have to go here and auto it 3 and uh, so open uh, this help section will help you just to identify the so all the methods so what are the methods it supports if you click on that see that this is the basic uh, like scripting language so basically it developed by basic uh, like scripting language and we are using this version so and uh, you, if you see the methods a lot of methods are here right you can, we can use only few of them, not required all of them for us. Let me show you that, uh, so methods. Um, that uh, text, that text is there. Control, control set text. Control focus, so control click, say control set text. So basically, this will uh, this function. So you need to pass this title, control ID, what text you want to uh, type there. So this is the optional argument, and these three are the so so we need to pass. Okay. So title, where you will get this title? So where you will get this control ID? So I'll show you once I open the auto it tool. So this is the one function for typing purpose we are using this. If you want to type something, you can use that. So here is a control set text. Uh, so you can set the text, set the edit control in notepad with some text. So you can, you can use it like this. Okay, and uh, control focus is there, control focus. You want to set the input focus to a given control on a window, you can use control focus. So you want to set the your cursor to that particular window, you can use this title text control ID. Title. So text, you don't need to provide anything. This parameter, leave it a, a blank. Control ID, title two. So that window has a one title and the control ID will be there. So those things you have to pass it here. And uh, control focus, so control set text to, there is a one more control click, control click. So sends the mouse click command to a given control. So basically it will perform the click action. Control click. So perform the click action title. So text control ID. So title text control ID. So title, control ID. So this is the, so title and control ID, I'll show you now, okay? So let's go to one of the, so Chrome browser, I'll just show you Chrome browser.
So easy upload dot io. So if you click here, so then this window is open, right? So this window, so you need you need this uh, this edit box and this uh, so let me this open right so these are the open button we want and this control id we want so this title this has a control id so two things you, we need to get so wherever you want to focus wherever you want to type wherever you want to click all those uh, controls title and uh, no focus you have to set it so let's go and see how how can you get these controls title and id so let me open so there is a so this is the one you open the there is a exe right any one of them you open this so if you open this it will open like this okay can you see here title and uh, class and instance class instance value is the control id and title is the title value then how can you get these values there is no values now right i'll show you how to get those values so let's go here and here right just you can there is a finder tool just drag and drop on this now can you see that it is you got the values right you got the values title is the open what is the control id class plus instance value these two are the so control ids so now title is a open control id is a edit one clear how to get that now then just this is the just a drag and drop this uh, finder tool just drag and drop like this wherever you want so now can you see open button title is open only but uh, class plus instance value button one so that's how you can get the uh, so values using this finder tool okay so these are so very very helpful for us so that is the code we are going to have and let me show you that code and how we have written so browser wise it will vary so browser wise it will vary for example same if you see in the firefox browser it will vary that so it's not same see now drag and drop this See here, title is a file upload. Class plus instance value, edit one. So title change and uh, class instance value, I think is similar, right? Only title is changed. And again, if you want to open, just a drag and drop there. See, title is a file upload only, button. So title is changing browser to browser. Okay, any questions? No automation. Okay. So that's an easy one. And that's why uh, anything you can handle uh, with this auto it. Anywhere you upload, download, anything you want to do, if, if such kind of uh, windows occurs in the web pages, you can take help of this auto it tool. You will just generate the auto it script first. After auto it script, you need to convert that into exe file format. So that exe file, you can run in the Java Selenu easily. So exe files, you can run easily in Java Selenu. 
So that's what we are going to do. Let's go and uh, do all this. I'll, I'll show you that uh, code, how to. So I, I have already. So there is a auto it uh, scripts, auto it scripts. And uh, we can see, see now these are uh, converted into auto it uh, a, so exe file format. Now just open this, uh, so right, these files. So this is the March, I think we did. And uh, May, so July. So let's go to this one, July. So now, dot au3 is the script, a auto it uh, script. So extension is dot au3. So I'll just open this, uh, open with, uh, we need a, so edit plus, this is the one. Okay. See win wait. So open title is the open. So second argument, I'm not giving anything and thousand uh, milliseconds. Control focus title is open. Edit one. Control set text open and edit one. So win wait open so thousand control click so open button one okay so these are the so that means here you are typing the this file path so this is the file path okay so three arguments i told right those three arguments control set text title Second argument is empty. You don't need to provide. Edit one. So this is the work day PDF. So I'm just waiting. Win we'll wait. Then hundred thousand. So milliseconds. So then control click, we are clicking on the open button. There is a open button, right? That one. So button one. So this is the how you can uh, so generate the auto it script. You have to write the same code, only your browser wise, the title and uh, control ID. Control ID, how to take? Class plus instance value. Class plus instance value. And then write here in the control ID place. Now, so you are giving the path. You are giving the path. So the path we have provided. So this is the path, the file path we are giving. So which file you want to upload. Now, you can save this, okay? You can save this, I'll show you. Okay, so write like this. Save as, so I'll create a new, okay, auto it scripts. Let me create a new file. So October 31st, 2023, okay? Mm -hmm. So, dot au3. So, dot au3, you have to save the file as a dot au3. So, you select the save as a type auto it. If you don't find auto it, you can select all types. So, there is all types, right? So, all types. See, all types is there. You can select that. So Chrome auto it script dot au3. So you have to select all types. Dot au3 is the extension. Dot au3 is the extension. So that's save it. So I want to show you that that is the one. So then close this. So then go here. Uh, we can uh, 
open Firefox one. I'll just open this. Same code, only the title is changing. Title will change and this control ID. Only title is different. Other than that, both are same. So just save as. So let's say dot a three extension, you have to save it. So once you save this, now you go to the location, right? You go to the location. So now these two are dot au3 files, right? So what we need to do, we have to convert them into application format. Application means exe format, you have to save it. So how to generate that exe file? Just right click. So you will get, there are multiple options here. Compile script to compile uh, script is x64. Any one you can use. So I'm just using compile script x64. See, it generated Chrome auto it script dot exe file. See, this is the file type is application. So dot exe file we are generating. Then same you do for the Firefox also. Right click, show more, compile script x64. See, Firefox auto it script dot exe. So these two are important for us. So these two are important. So in your framework, you generally will put it in the framework location. So these scripts. And these scripts you will use in the your uh, so test script. So because exe file, you need to run it. So how to run that, I have clearly explained in our, uh, so, so here, so I have explained very clearly with the code also, how to save, see that, step by step. So for a Chrome, copy paste, below code in notepad, so this code in notepad, save file auto it script for chrome.au3, selected save as option, all types. So this is the one, same for Firefox also you do that. Next step two is convert the file .au3 as a .exe file. So right click on the file dot, file name .au3, select a compile script x64, this will generate the auto it script for firefox.exe and so then step three is so use that in the these exe files you need to call in the test script so that is what i so we're going to see now let's see how to do that I'll change the path, okay? So the path, this path is different. Our files path is different. Oh, it's there already. File upload. So let's go now. So same website I'm using. And there are some changes, right? I think these are some changes here. So upload files. So then upload files, share them easily. I think it is same. So we have seen here. Files share online. I think it's changed. So 
So then this is the one. Okay, here you can see that. So at the rate parameters, I'm using browser. At the rate parameters, I'm using browser. So here also string browser I want. Why do I need a browser is? So based on the browser, this uh, script has to execute, right? So that's why if browser dot equals signal case Chrome, then how to call that uh, exe file runtime dot get runtime dot exe method you're using. So runtime is the class. This class is a Java class, pure Java class. That class dot get runtime dot exe method. So exe method will execute the any exe methods, exe files. <clears throat> so now here you can give. I'm going to give the location. So that is what our the location is there. So now Jolie, right? I think we need to change only the path. So October. Otherwise, you can just copy paste this. Thing is similar, only this part is different. So instead of again all of them, I'll just put um, everything similar, only October is the one we want. So I'll just change this. So Chrome auto -add script dot exe. So with the dot exe also you have to provide Firefox auto -add script dot exe. So whatever the browser you supply on that browser, this test case will execute. That time only this will be else if browser dot equals case Firefox, else if edge, you can add edge, edge also. So like this, you can add multiple so wait dot until expected condition start. So wait for the upload button. And then some wait time I have given. Then upload success, right? So this is the, all the so complete code. Let's go and know, run this program and we'll see this. So how this is. So remember, what is the class to execute exe file you need to use? Runtime class dot get runtime method dot exe method for the exe method you have to give your exe file location so where that exe file is available so let's go here and see how can we uh, so that So right click and run the program. Problem has a problem, I think. So this one also not working means Something issue, the Chrome browser. Maybe we need to use a test Chrome. So they provided one uh, Chrome browser for testing. So we might need to use that one, I think. Still running. Okay, but still failed. Oh, we have given it. Uh, so, sorry.
Okay, ran, done, right? So did you observe that? Yes, Ramesh. Okay, let's run with the Firefox. The only change is here only. So in the test case, you don't need to do much. One time design of the test case only. So you can do same for the edge. Then you have to generate the same way. Done. See how easy. So still you got a problem with the robot class, but this one is not giving any problem to you. So this is the more you know, uh, genuine. So uh, the tart robot class is not that much uh, so flexible and it's going to give you a problem. Okay. Yeah, so that's it one uh, last program. Let's go and see the last program. And if you go to this auto it, you will have everything here, okay? So just, uh, to try and execute that program, okay? And uh, so one more last program, so web tables, how to work with web tables. And uh, yeah. how to work with web tables. If you see this uh, Hiroki app website, so we have a, So there is a uh, sorted data tables. See, this is the a table, right? You need to extract all these values and you have to sort them. And you have to sort in ascending order and descending order, you have to sort it. So how can you sort them? So, So to do this uh, sorting, we need uh, some assertions, extra assertions we need. So those are, uh, uh, the one jar file is there, that jar file we need to download. So what is that jar file is, uh, so let me show you that jar file. Uh, so we need to, So we have to go to Maven uh, repository. Go to Maven repository, okay? So this is the Maven repository, right? Go here. Thank you. 
comes. Let me show you, let me see that file. Where is that? Web tables, jQuery, handling web tables. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Hamcrest. So Hamcrest, uh, so we need to download Hamcrest. So jar file we need to add to our project. So let's go to first, copy this um, and paste it here. So I'll explain the entire code. So first we need to download this Hamcrest. So search the Hamcrest. So Hamcrest. Um, crest didn't come. Crest. So these are the uh, matchers, basically. So matching purpose we can use, and even assertion purpose we can use. Yeah. So this is one ham crest alu, ham crest uh, core. So R M crest Java is the Java M crest. So these two we need to download. Our only ham crest is enough. Just click on this. A self-contained ham crest jar containing all of the submodules in a single artifact. So you can uh, use this this jar file. You have when you click on the version, you can get a jar here. So just download this. So click on download. So it's downloaded. See? Ham crest all. So we go to Okay, I think it is there already, ham crest here. So that is the one you have to download, okay? So you download and add it to the project. Basically, we need to add to the project. So we'll, we'll go and add to the project. So where is our project, this one, right? So right click, how to add a jar file? Right click on the project, build path, configure build path, then select the class path, add external jars, and go to, maybe we can keep it here also, Amcrest. Here Amcrest are there. So we didn't keep here and just go to downloads. You can add Hamcrest. So how do you search Hamcrest? Why Hamcrest is not coming here? Okay, anyhow, one is enough. You can add one. I'm just seeing any other. Yeah, here it is. Can you see this? This one you can do. Apply and close. So now all the errors are gone, right? Now, first one is uh, before method I'm using, a test method. See the multiple test methods we are writing here. See how many test methods we have written. So before class, just to know again, browser launching everything and maximize the window, add implicit weight, 
explicit weight. So those things are after class and before class. So before class will open the browser and before method you can see that. Before method what I'm doing, opening the application URL. So then, so waiting for the page title and heading. Then I'm clicking on the, so sortable link. Sortable link, I'm clicking on that every time. So open the URL, it will go and click on the sortable link. Then first test case is, what is the handling table? So these tables, right? We need to handle these tables. So these tables, we need to handle them. So these tables. So these tables, we need to handle them. See, first, fetch all the columns, headings. Fetch all the column headings, okay? So how to fetch? List, web element, column list. So you have to fetch all the columns. This, this is the columns. So these columns, these, these columns. So if you skip on that, see that this, this is that TH, table, T head, TH. So this TR, TH will give, each TH is a, represent the one column, one column in this TR. So T head you have to take. So that means heading. The, so if you close this, then T body. T body is this body will represent. Okay, so that, that's how you need to understand.